victims, and even if they outlive the conflict, often they're left with harrowing tales of physical and emotional abuse. Four such survivors visited Ottawa today. They were so-called comfort women, forced into sex slavery by the Japanese military during the Second World War. The women want Tokyo to issue a formal apology. And while MPs in this country are expected to back that call with a resolution tomorrow, the international controversy looks to rage on. CTV's Roger Smith explains. They're in their 80s now, still reliving the horror they suffered as teenage girls. So in one afternoon, I was raped by 11 Japanese soldiers. Stories told many times before, yet now moving Canadian politicians to tears. For me, the most painful part was seeing my old grandmother being raped as well. And this Korean, just 14 years old when she was made pregnant, yet still raped again and again. There were an estimated 200,000 victims across Asia. Comfort women, the Japanese called them. They see themselves as sex slaves. We were for the pleasure of the Japanese soldiers. Ellen Vanderplug was living in Java when the Japanese occupiers labeled her as a prostitute. After 62 years, I'm still waiting for my salary. And for an apology. Well, the Japanese insist they long ago said sorry and offered money. The U.S. Congress recently asked for a formal apology from Japan's parliament, and MPs here are backing a similar resolution. Oh, sexual slavery is a crime against humanity, and I think we just have the moral responsibility to speak out. The Japanese, though, have lobbied hard against it. Their prime minister even called Stephen Harper two weeks ago to argue his country has already done enough. But not enough to satisfy victims, and they pleaded with MPs. You must promise me, she says, to help us. Roger Smith, CTV News, Ottawa.